Well, thank you, and thank you again for supporting this. Uh, the Easter period starts at midnight tonight. It goes for five days. Last year we had six people killed on the roads over Easter and 144 injury crashes with more than 144 people seriously injured. Uh, as of today, 60 people have been killed on Queensland roads and in the last 24 hours there are three people uh, who've been involved in crashes who are critical, critically ill uh, with life-threatening injuries. So that's a terrible number, 60 killed and three in hospital battling for their lives. But uh, Minister, thank you for joining us today and I invite you to say some words. Uh, thank you very much, Commissioner. Can I start off by saying that the Easter period is one in which, across all of Queensland, people will be spending time with family and, uh, and with their friends. And it's not a time to have the loss of life. Too often we see those simple mistakes being made, those fatal four, that cost someone's life. And let's be honest, the roads in Queensland are unforgiving. The smallest mistake that you make, driving in conditions that are inappropriate, speed being a factor, or even just forgetting to have your seatbelt on, can actually have major implications to the point of taking someone's life. Now what we know is that each life lost over Easter has a major ripple effect throughout the family and throughout the community of Queensland. As a father and as someone who lives on a stretch of the Bruce Highway, which is rated as one of the worst sections of road in Australia, I've had that sick feeling in my stomach when I've heard about another accident. Would it be a family? Would it be a friend? Would it be someone we know? I don't want any Queenslander to experience that this year. What I'm asking all Queenslanders is to take the time as they drive. Easter is an opportunity for you to be with, together with family and friends, and that often involves travelling on our roads. Please do so safely. Fatigue is a major issue, and I'd ask everybody over these next five days, whether you're travelling or whether you're staying in the area, to make sure that you don't drive tired. Make sure, if you're travelling with someone, that you ensure that they are safe. Because today I'm surrounded by some of the finest people we have in Queensland. People who have to attend those road accidents. And I've spoken to some of them in my course as the Minister, and I've heard those tales about having to attend a roadside accident and being there listening and seeing the, uh, the heartbreak that occurs. I don't want to see any of our police, our ambulance or our fireys involved in any road accidents, attending them uh, unnecessarily. And it's a plea to all Queenslanders this Easter to drive safely. Firefighters every day across Queensland attend road crashes. Unfortunately, it's becoming an increasing part of the role we play in helping to remove the injured or unfortunately the deceased from motor vehicle wrecks. We plead with people to think about their journey, plan well ahead, enjoy the break with your family and don't end up a statistic. Thank you. Paramedics are asking people to exercise common sense when they travel this Easter. Prepare, prepare your trip, drive safely. Paramedics, like other members of the community, are impacted by the trauma of attending this, these horrific incidents. There's nothing worse than seeing a, a family torn apart through the needless uh, loss of life from an accident, a road crash that can generally be avoided. If you are, unfortunately, if you come across a traffic crash, be, be prepared to ring triple zero, identify the exact location of the accident, let the comms communications operator know how many people are involved and where it is. Again, we'd urge people to travel safely, enjoy Easter with your family and friends. Well, thanks very much uh, to the Minister and to our colleagues in Ambulance and Fire. I think that they've probably very well summed up uh, everything that we can say about this. Essentially, we're asking people to be patient, to drive according to the road conditions, as the Minister indicated, and to obey the road rules. The Police Department don't want to have to book anyone over Easter for anything. We would rather avoid that. Can I just conclude my few comments, though, by thanking you and the media? Uh, despite the horrific nature of the road toll that continues, uh, we have achieved great gains over the years, and, and a big part of that has been your getting the message out to the public and the public listening to that message and responding accordingly. So thank